Does your event planning need a little help? Event planning is one of the most stressful jobs in the U.S. A successful event is a careful balance of business and downtime, focus and entertainment, meeting new contacts, and reconnecting with old friends. Memorable events seamlessly move through all of those phases, though most participants never know how much planning and work go into making the gathering a success. Today, we'll make the planning process way less stressful by giving you the ultimate event planning checklist. I'm Noel with JotForm. Let's get into it. When it comes to planning an event, no matter how they differ from one to the other, there are many similarities that make having a handy checklist helpful. First off, you'll want to start by establishing your goals. The broad intent of your business event is to gather people of common interests so they can network, build trust, and do business with each other. Drill down from those generic goals into more specific, clearer goals on what exactly you're trying to accomplish. Here's a list of tips to consider when establishing your goals. Articulate the overarching goal of your event. Is the goal to attract a business crowd for networking? Or is it to create a harvest fair designed to give local businesses an annual boost while promoting an important local product? This seems like an obvious one, but pick a date for your event. Then you can consider your venue options. What venues in the region fit the criteria for size, resources, and price? Establish what size crowd you're trying to attract. Are there enough hotels, restaurants, and transportation in the area to accommodate your attendees? Put together your core team and review your vision for the event and its purpose with them. Map out the role of each person and establish a timeline of goals. Determine the budget for the event. Do you need to find additional funds? Also, decide if you'll be selling tickets to the event. If so, what's the anticipated ticket price? So you've completed the first step of finding your event's purpose and inspired your team. Now it's time to carefully consider how to structure the event to achieve that purpose. Determine how long your event will last. Will you be able to achieve your goal in a single session? Or will the representative and sales teams of industry leaders be coming to town for a few days to network and display their products? You'll also want to consider how you can increase the number of opportunities for participants to learn and connect. However, you don't want to overload the attendees. Make a point to build in adequate breaks and provide quiet spaces where new contacts can chat. It's also important to carefully consider acoustics, lighting, sight lines, and other factors when arranging the space. Ensure that there's abundant bandwidth for Wi-Fi in the space. Lastly, think about when your event is all said and done, how will you measure the effectiveness and outcomes of your event? The biggest single expense of your event is most likely renting the venue. The facility must be large enough so that everyone has sufficient room, but not so large that a good crowd seems smaller than it really is. Think through these steps when finding a location for your event. Determine where you anticipate event participants will come from to decide which city will host the event. Start searching for venues in that location. Then list every venue that meets your requirements and work down from that to a short list that has the best amenities for the most competitive price. You'll want to tour facilities with your team and event sponsors. Once you've decided on the best available venue, negotiate a contract on terms that reflect the value you're bringing, such as your vendors and attendees. Then you'll want to think about the layout of the space. Map out the event and allocate space appropriately. Task your logistics team with getting to know the venue thoroughly enough to ensure the smooth flow of people and equipment when the building is jammed with your attendees. Events can be powerful economic engines, so keep that in mind when you're negotiating with vendors. Once you've chosen the city or region of the event, shop the available venues. If you're expecting a big crowd, you'll have some negotiating leverage to your advantage. When shopping around, it's important not to take the sticker price of the venue at face value. Are there extra charges for parking, insurance, security, or any other necessities? Decide whether or not to provide food for your attendees. If you do want to include food, does this entail a catered meal or leasing space to food carts? Keep surrounding hotels in mind when looking at a space for your event. If your event will require overnight stays, work out deals with nearby hotels. You don't want to lose any potential attendees because they started looking for a room too late. Lastly, be prepared to announce your keynote speaker, entertainers, influencers, or celebrity guests when you announce your event. Make sure all contracts are finalized and be certain your venue can accommodate any specific technical requirements. Next up, 
you need to develop a registration process even if you aren't charging admission. Use a registration process regardless to gauge numbers and keep tabs on who is there. Find and use registration software that meets your requirements and train your registration team to use it. Once you've done that, set up an online registration process to accommodate attendees who are coming from far away. If you're charging admission, create a ticket sales process. And while you're at it, determine your refund policy. Posting this nearby ticket purchasing makes attendees aware of the policy. Also, think about offering discounts. Can you afford to offer discounts for early registration or large groups? As far as registered media goes, have a no charge admission policy. One of the biggest challenges event organizers face is finding sponsors. Don't doubt yourself if it's tough because it's not easy. However, these tips may help you with your sponsor search. Just like most things in life, event sponsorships are subject to trends. So search what interests sponsors and be prepared to go with that. Research your potential sponsors, their goals, and their place in the market to prepare for pitching them. While doing this, think through which potential sponsors are most aligned with the goals of your event. You can also enlist the help of the travel and tourism staff of the local Chamber of Commerce in your search for sponsors. It's a good rule of thumb to list the benefits of sponsorship and be ready to defend those if the potential sponsors are at all skeptical. Draft a proposal for each targeting potential sponsor and prepare to offer different levels of sponsorship. Some companies will only have the budget to hang a banner or sponsor a panel, so have a price in mind for all budget tiers. No item on your event planning checklist is worth accomplishing if you can't get people to attend your actual event. Spreading the word about the event to those most likely to find value in it is a priority. Here's how to do that. First, gather data to clarify your target demographic and determine the best media to reach them. Social media is an important part of event marketing, so make sure your team has expertise in the strategic use of Facebook ads or similarly effective social media tools. You can even invite bloggers and trade journalists to the event and keep them up to date with regular press communications. Establish key performance indicators, such as building a dedicated website by a certain date, sending weekly press releases, and gathering an email marketing list. Then, map out separate but compatible marketing strategies for event sponsors and corporate display booth rentals on the one hand and ticket purchasing attendees on the other. Keep in mind that your success with one will drive your success with the other. The last step of our event planning checklist is to ensure the safety of your event. The following list will help you carefully prepare for potential emergencies and think through how to reduce foreseeable risks. You'll want to make certain you have all required permits and that your venue is in complete compliance with all local and state fire and safety codes. Familiarize your security team with emergency exits and evacuation procedures in the event that becomes necessary. It's also important to plan how paramedics would reach someone during a medical emergency and how they would evacuate the person from a crowded venue. It's a good idea to review all vendor applications for necessary insurance and health and safety permits. Remember that as the event organizer, at least some liability for vendor shortcomings will fall on you. Lastly, have someone on your team who is trained in risk assessment review your venue as well as your event plan for any potential dangers or blind spots. The best way to handle an emergency is to avoid it. Remember, event planning is a team exercise and one of the great management challenges in the business world. The key to success is organization. Let's do a quick review of the eight steps on our event planning checklist. You'll need to establish your goals, think through the structure and pace of your program, find the ideal venue, vet your potential vendors, develop a registration process, focus on sponsors, plan and implement your PR and marketing tactics, and ensure that your event is in tip-top shape when it comes to safety. Adapt this checklist to the particulars of your event and you'll be well on your way to organizing the ultimate event. I'm Noel, and this is JotForm. See you next time.